People who have their shut together. How? Don't think about how long it's going to take to get there. Just consistently do a bunch of small steps and make the daily routine steps better than the last time you did them. Even if it's just hanging a broom neatly vs just throwing it in a closet. It is at one degree of change until you suddenly come full circle. This is so true. I was explaining this to a friend of mine who's having some back quote what do I do with my life questions and just always stalling. The small steps is so underrated, I feel like in today's world, so many people try and take a shortcut straight to an end goal, but forget the little things that create the journey. I got a calendar and learned how to use it. It's obvious for an organized person how to use a calendar, but I wasn't one of those. Had notes, appointments, to-do lists, etc strewn all over my desk, in my bag, in my head. Of course those were the ones I forgot instantly. Now I have a calendar. It goes where I go. It is the one place where I write down all my shut, and I check it twice a day, first in the morning, and then when I finish up work for the day. Changed my life. My girlfriend loves her diary for keeping organized, like a planner thing, not a back quote dear diary type one. A lot of successful business people use them so there must be something to it. Sleeping solid 8 hours every night. I can't tell you how to do this though. I did this in college too. It's so important. Between working part time, a killer commute, class, and sleeping 8 hours a night, it made me budget my time for homework better. Solid 8 hours is so important. Good advice. If it takes less than 5 minutes, do it now. Nothing else has ever helped me more. I used to even pay bills and rent late, and wasted a ton of money on late fees. Buying something on Amazon takes about 2 minutes. Distancing myself from people who were not truly my friends. Instructions unclear, ran out of friends. Lots of fiber? This is funny, but seriously fiber supplements have lowered my bathroom time and toilet paper costs substantially. I sobered up. 14 months sober. I reduced from every effing day to only Saturday nights. Been doing it for 3 months now. You're absolutely right that it helps. Full time job avoid sugar spend less than you earn Brazilian J.I. Jiu Jitsu for exercise and stress relief cats. Avoiding sugar is by far the hardest for me. Not only is it okay to half ass something. Don't beat yourself over quarter, eighth, or sixteenth assing something. We're all pushed into adulthood with this idea that we have to be machines that churn out quality stuff 24-7. Have a daunting sink full of dishes? Wash one spoon. Next time you go in, wash one plate. Next time, a cup. Clear one square foot of a cluttered room or one corner of a cluttered table. Set a timer and work on that project for 5 minutes. Not up for a full exercise? Walk up and down the block or circle your house. Stand in the yard or on the stoop for 5 minutes. It's enough for today. Don't spend time beating yourself up over not being able to do everything at once because it will keep you from doing anything at all. This is how I did it. I started doing a little bit under the unf your habitat system. 2010s. Started eating better. Decided to use a planner to keep track of stuff. Then started paying off bills. Then the gym. Then eating even better meal planning. Etc. It's no balls. Realizing that the goalposts keep moving. And there's no end state it'd be pretty terrible if one day there was nothing else to improve. That's why it's important to be happy with doing better each time. 1. Have backup money in the bank. A few months rent 2. Own your car. All that matters is reliability 3. Have good honest relationships with at least 3 other humans 4. Have a physical hobby. Walking, hiking, gym, frisbee, metal detecting, karate, whatever something 5. Profit from your work. If you work hard, make hard work money. Work for yourself to do this. If you have to. 6. Love something. Family, god, country, gaming, your dog, Disney, whatever something. This should be taught in how to human. 101. Get a planner. Actually use it. Finally start therapy. Eat vegetables or fruit at least 1 to 2 times each day. Yeah, a smoothie counts. Clean your room and bathroom at least once every 2 to 3 weeks. Forgive yourself but hold yourself accountable when you do, inevitably, screw up. 
do people really not eat vegetables or fruit at least once a day, and not clean their bathroom or bedroom at least once every 3 weeks? BF I'm brutally honest with yourself. Like, ego me, you should be a doctor or lawyer rational me, nope, while you'd like the stature, you'd eventually hate the day to day work, because you really enjoy your time off, and, let's face it, are a little lazy. Careful, this can also end in absolutely effing hating yourself. It's called compartmentalism. You keep your shut together by separating your shut. Exercise. Half decent diet, 8 plus hours of sleep and coffee, lots, and lots of coffee. I had to cut out the coffee, just so I could get some decent sleep. The trick is staying on top of it once you've you've got it together. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Take satisfaction each day, in accomplishing small reasonable goals. I sound corny, but try to act as if talk, as if you're confident, act as if you belong, act as if you deserve success. If you believe in something hard enough it improves your odds of getting that thing. It's easier to ask forgiveness than ask permission, unless it's sexual in nature, always ask for permission there, at least that's what I believe. I feel like this works. Everyone thinks I'm massively confident, and it's just cause I act like it. It helped me stand up for myself, and others and make some important changes at an old workplace, something I'd never have been able to do before. Alright, op, this is a real answer, we're all just making it up, learning as we go, stacking up knowledge as we get older, and trying the best we can, with no guarantee of success until this, or that task in front of us is done. Most times, when we get through something successfully, we are just as surprised as everybody else that it happened to work. A lot of the younger generation seem to think that we older folks, 45 male here, were taught how to do things like balancing a checking account, learning how to pay your bills on time, and budget for emergencies. The truth is, we weren't, not most of us anyway. Learning to do those things hasn't been a priority in a public school education since the 60s, if indeed it ever was. We weren't taught about extending your credit beyond your means. We weren't taught that a 28% interest rate is modern day slavery. We weren't taught that, if something is free, you're not the customer, you're the product. All of this knowledge and experience has come after years of hard work, eating beans and instant ramen for weeks or months on end, often with bankruptcy and homelessness looming over our shoulders for 6 months, a year, multiple years at a time. TLDR, almost nobody has their shut together, and those that do almost always have a safety net, provided at the benevolence of other people. As a 35 year old father of two, married, modest house, two cars and an old truck, a couple degrees and a steady job, all of the above is correct. Work, 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 a bit of an expensive fun, a bit of luck here and there, keep my nose clean, and out of other people's business, eating a bit of crow here and there, and staying steady. Be mindful what you spend your money on. That's the easiest way to get started. Keep making choices that fit you, not choices you see everybody else make. I live in a walkable town, so I gave up my car. I hate being interrupted or bothered, so I don't have a cell phone. I don't get that excited over ruining things. So long ago I chose a career that pays a lot less, but is a lot more satisfying. Today I get in a ton of walking, I never scroll through my feed, and I love my job. All the decisions looked weird when I made them, but the benefits accumulated with every passing year, and today I'm in late middle age, and very happy with my life. Being someone you are proud to be. That foundation is vital to improving the other aspects of your life and slowly but surely getting it all together. You won't ever have it all at once, and that's okay, and it's much better than having nothing at all and feeling lost. This, every day do things to make yourself better. Make yourself proud of yourself. Therapy. Lots and lots of therapy F. It's so worth it. I'm 12. I have no shut to lose. So you were born 2007, 2008. Damn, right in the feels. Fake it till you make it. I live by this. Honestly, just care. I work a job I kind of hate, making just enough money to live, in a field, that is short on people, 
I live small, stopped being an alcoholic, and started working out. In a conventional way I have my shut together, but it certainly is not great on my mental health. You have to take a real honest assessment of your life, and be ruthless in cutting out anyone or anything that is contributing to you not having your shut together. It can be very painful, because that might be family, not wife and kids, that's different, but parents siblings, people you've been friends with for forever, or your current job. Cut it out of your life, until you have your shut together, then you can maybe add them back in at arm's length. Oh, and for god's sake, go to therapy. Everyone can benefit from it, not just people who've hit rock bottom. Attack procrastination all day every day, as much as you can stand to stay clean and well dressed. This will put pressure on you to keep it up, because of the positive feedback you will get. Don't get effed up on drugs and alcohol to excess. Sleep 8 hours per day. Eat a balanced diet. Find a plan and try to make it happen. Think of the best logical way to obtain it. Never stop doing that. There's a little something I've been saying for years. There are two kinds of people in this world, those who seem to have their shut together, and those who don't. The only difference between the two is, that the first lot have much better poker faces. Make a plan, sort your shut out into groups. Stuff that needs doing now. Stuff that needs doing in the next month. Stuff that can wait. Complete tasks and jobs you are putting off, you'll feel better, and want to keep doing it. I saved my ass off in my late teens and 20s, so I could get into renting out houses and start a business. I think financial security is by far the most important thing to getting your shut together. It takes a lot of sacrifice though. I had zero pets. I only dated girls that would split the bill and never got serious with any of them. I bulk bought, still do, food only when it was on crazy sales, so I'd be eating the same thing 5 days at a time. Hit restaurants maybe twice a year. Hanging out with friends was what hiking trail do you want to do in this completely free wilderness area near my house. Vacations were driving 3 hours up north to the pine trees and camping. Used a flip phone 5 plus years into the smartphone era and upgraded my gaming computer once over the last decade. This was all while barely having a social life anyway because starting a business is a 70 hour a week job. Once things leveled in my late 20s all was good though. Houses paid off, except current one. Business run primarily by employees, 28 plus are where I get to make up for the grind. If the business shuts itself someday I'll live off rent income. If the rentals shut themselves someday the market usually comes back, and I'll just get a part time job for a bit, and live in one, if I can't survive on a single rental, but I'm still saving like mad for that rainy day. The only thing I'm worried about is healthcare. Obamacare has been a godsend, but it gets worse every year with higher deductibles and premiums. If it goes away completely someday I don't want to have to get a full time job for some megacorp to make sure I don't end up with a 1 million dollar bill, if I end up getting cancer or something. TL. Doctor save your money and build equity now. Doesn't sound like SDH I would call a good life. I guess there is more to it than financial stability. Ever been to developing countries? Not living beyond my means. I'm really sorry. This is going to sound awful, but you, op, asked how I have my shut together and here's how. The first step is to cut off people who don't have their shut together and aren't making any moves to get their shut together within the next 5 or 10 years. Cut off people playing low level games. These people will occupy your time, hold you back, guilt you about your success, and waste your time. They won't understand your success and won't be happy when you succeed. I'm sorry. I'm really really sorry, but it's true. Who are these people? These are the folks you smoke weed with. The folks you spend all weekend long playing games with. The ones who still get into fights after the age of 25. The ones who can't get their act right. The folks you have to bail out of prison or help them with alibis when the cops come asking. These are the people who just won't grow up. They just won't act or get right. They just seem to be stuck in their ways. All they do is smoke and drink and sleep and leech off of others in their life. You know who these people are. The people who come to mind when you close your eyes and think intensely about the word drama. 
When you read my description of these people, someone's image pops into your mind. These people. These are the people you should begin to limit your time with. If you want your shut to get together, begin to slowly back away from these folks. Stop smoking weed with them. Stop drinking alcohol with them. Stop lending them money. Stop doing favors for them. Limit the amount of time you spend on video games with them. Go to class. Every class. Do your work. All of your work. Look forward by at least a month. Create a budget. Have a plan. Know how much life costs you in one month. Know how much you make. And figure out a way to live within your means. Stay focused. Define have your shut together. I think it's about your shut being solid until it hits the fan and you have to clean up. I don't, but I assume, being born rich would help. Nobody totally has their shut together. Nobody has emotional, mental, relationship, financial, sobriety, etc health. We get a few things under control, cobble most of it day to day, and fake the rest. The trick is to get the few things that are most important to you. For example mental, relationships and sobriety, and choose to be good enough in everything else. Also never fail. And by never fail I don't mean never F up, I mean never stop trying, until you reach success. No wife, no kids. Wife that has her shut together and no kids. Play by the rules, and do everything with integrity. That and well timed naps. Pick a thing, that you need to improve, and just focus on that. Just one thing, the smaller the better. Say you don't wash the dishes often enough, and you need to get better. Every night you come home just wash them. Keep doing this until you do it as a ritual, and don't mind it anymore. Do it until it feels wired, to not do it. When you get to that point find something else to improve. Repeat till you are dead. IDK man, I'm just 16 but, doing things that I enjoy, staying positive, helping others, not stressing with school. If I have something difficult to do or something that I don't feel capacitated enough, I just start doing it right away. Oh, and find happiness in the little things of life. Edit, almost forgot, take care of my own health, eating, sleeping, exercising, etc. Don't forget to like this video and follow this channel to hear more editception.